What's your response to the latest commentary of Ryan Garcia with the recent racial epithet spewed yesterday? What's your response to first that? First of all, first of all, we at Golden Boy, including myself, we don't condone any, you know, racism and any type of. It's it's just wrong. It's wrong, and uh, it's it's not good what he said, and um, you know. We strongly feel that I just heard Ryan saying that he's going into rehab. Um, it's, it's a step in the right direction for him personally. But yeah, we at Golden Boy and I've spoken to my partner Bernard Hopkins and we just don't condone that. It's, it's, it's wrong. What's your, what's your initial reaction when you first heard it? Um, I I wanted to I wanted to get to the bottom of it, and I started doing research. You know, where did it come from? Was it him saying it? Was it him? You know, on Twitter? Was it so? I found a video where look, he's right now. He's right now. First of all, it's wrong. It's totally wrong. And you know, his I don't know if it's his drinking. I don't know if it's. Him doing mushrooms and drugs and this, but when you listen, I listened to a video and he was slurring and this, so he's in a bad, bad place right now, really bad. And I can understand now why he's gonna check himself into rehab, but again, that behavior is uncalled for. What advice do you have for him? Have you had with him? Being that he hasn't communicated too much with his own family, how much have you talked to him since like Look, like literally the times that I talked to him, and I've talked to him several times. Last time I talked to him was about a week ago. And every time I talk to him, he seems normal, he seems good. He, I talk to him about, okay, look, you're suspended, but you know, there's other things you can do. Uh, when when you come back, look, I have ideas, I have other business opportunities for you. And he seems great. Like there's no there's no slurring, there's no like this, that, there's like he just seems good. So look, I can I've always said that I'm here for him, that you know, if he needs me, give me a I don't get calls from him, but it's uh, yeah, he's, he's he's definitely in a in a really bad place right now. Oscar, what do you think about the ruling from Mario Silsuleman in the WBC saying that Ryan is not, is no longer allowed to compete in any more WBC events, thus barring him yeah. for the rest of his career? Well, look, I mean, I, I'm glad that I. I, I, I got all the information, right? And and again, first and foremost, it's wrong what he said. It's wrong if you even think it. It's wrong. It, it was just wrong. But you can't... You, you have to gather all the information before you make the, the accusation the way WBC did. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. Maybe Ryan does have like a really psychological bad problem or... You know, when he does, I heard he does shrooms or he does, I don't know, what kind of drugs or he's drinking or, you know, maybe he has people inside in the circle that are maybe telling him it's okay to do this, you know, like a sabotage type of thing. Because in boxing, especially in boxing, you don't know what the hell is going on around your circle because people can plan things, this, that. So um, the WBC made their statement and, you know, it, it is what it is, but I... I'm no doctor. I am. I, I just know that what he said is wrong. So Ryan, we know that Ryan watches our channel here at Fight Hub TV uh, and many of the other outlets that are here. Uh, if you were given a chance to kind of speak to him, uh, provided you, you can't call him, what would you say to him if, you, if you're looking into the camera? I look. Uh, first, first of all, I I know Ryan. Ryan Ryan is not a racist guy. He's just not. I know him. He's not. He's just. He's he's not that. You know, now when he fucking is around people and he's taking fucking who knows what and he's drunk and this and that and people are talking like that to him. Hey, come on, my man, this and that. Like, I can see Ryan like going along with it and, you know, and this, but it's obviously wrong, but I don't see Ryan being racist. I just don't. I, I don't feel it. I don't, I don't, I just don't see it, you know, and, 
So that's why I want to talk to him. I want to, I want to really get to the bottom of it and, uh, you know, to, to make the right decision. Because like I said, if, if, I throw, if I throw fuel to the flame right now, fuck, who knows what can happen? Oh, you know, what's the latest with uh, Devin Haney? You know, you and him have been going back and forth on him getting paid instead of yeah. and you're, you're saying, you know, like, yeah. like pay for your numbers need to come and things like sure. that. Just, just, well, what's the latest with that? Yeah, look, the latest, I mean, there, there really is no latest. The, the, the fight didn't sell the way they expected. That's it. That's it. It's like, I mean, when 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 a Canelo and then now a Shakur is 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 attacking my my integrity is in ta is attacking the company, then then maybe there's something I must do about it. But look, the bottom line is that the numbers came in, and 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 they just didn't perform the way Devin Haney thought they were going to perform, and that's because. It's just the fight didn't set. That's the bottom line. So, and I told him, look, you can check my books. You can do whatever. You can you can send a thousand lawyers to my office and check everything. I don't hide anything. It's just the facts are the facts. So, when I talk facts, I talk facts. When when they when they talk against me, it's like it's just rubbish. It's like it's crazy. It's it's just it's uncalled for. So, um, yeah, that's the bottom line. A couple, couple, couple more questions, okay. The, the, New York, the, the New York Commission said they were, like, Brian had to pay you uh, a certain amount of money, or the promoter amount of money. That seemed a little, uh, I don't know where that came from, but has I've, he paid you? I've, you never, I've, never, I've never seen or heard of, of such harsh penalties. Um, it, they're just inconsistent, you know, across the board. You know, Canelo gets pop, Mosey gets pop, whatever, fighters in the past. Nobody has ever received a year. Nobody has ever received a one point something five million dollar penalty back to the look. I would never take a penny. Obviously, that's not the right thing to do. Um, but I have the facts, and the facts are that the fight didn't sell. That's the bottom line. It's not my fault. I don't think it's Ryan's fault because he pushed the fight. I mean, maybe things he was saying the week of the fight that kind of turned fans off. But the fight just didn't sell. That's the bottom line, and. Um, you know, I, I, I just feel, I just feel that, look, I mean, we must, I, I have to get all the information. That, that's the bottom line. You've been, you yourself have been down, but you've gotten back up. What advice do you have for him as far as I, I, the experiences? I, and I, I think that what he did of checking himself into rehab is, is a good thing because he did it himself, right? Like I, I have experience with, with many rehabs and stints of rehabs because other people wanted me to go there and it never worked it never worked rehab is like it just it, it gets you it gets you in a place where okay you can you can think about what you did and you know you but it just puts you in a place where you you you, you feel sorry for yourself you feel like people are against you so that therefore you have to you have to do it yourself you have to check into a place yourself you want to get help yourself without people telling you so you know my recommendation for ryan is just look um i think he ha he must literally look within himself and and see the circle he has around him and get rid of everybody get rid of the people get rid of the people that you have around you because they're just not good he actually Oscar, you know, like the circle he did get rid of uh, his lawyer, Lupe. I know you and Lupe have had sure, you know, a complicated sure. relationship as well. Just what, what was your reaction to that? Um, my reaction was, it's about time. You know, you, you, you literally, and, and it's not just because, you know, it's not because of not doing business, you know, accordingly. It's, it's just because he was just a bad communicator. When it comes to, you know, getting the message across, like I would say something to Lupe and I'm not sure what message was being sent to Ryan. So, um, you know, Ryan got rid of him for certain reasons and he finally found out exactly who he was. Good for him. Ask your... He's got a question on Cepeda. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Sí, no, no, una, una muy buena pelea. Este Cabrera es un gran peleador. Eh, tiene una derrota contra un gran peleador en Pitbull. Así que para mí, si Cepeda noquea a Cabrera, 
tenemos una super estrella con, con William. Con William vamos a ver con Shakur, es tu principal. Este, idea. pues Shakur va a pelear este sábado también. Este, yo creo que, yo creo que me encantaría ver una pelea entre Shakur y Tank Davis. Quizás William Cepeda ganando este sábado pelear por el, por la OMB y ser campeón y entonces sí una unificatoria con, con, con le campeones. preguntaron a William hace rato que con quién le gustaría pelear más y era con Tank Davis o Shakur y Perfecto. él dijo que sería muy difícil una pelea con Tank debido al estilo claro. ¿tú qué piensas de eso? Sí, no son peleas fuertes y difíciles pero cuando eres ya campeón mundial y estás como el número uno retador tienes que pelear con todo el mundo 